Hey everybody, welcome to another Cooking with the Positive Smash. This is part one of me putting together the chicken. So this is the night before I'm going to be making the pe paper chicken. So you want to make the sauce and you want to marinate the chicken in it overnight. So I will be showing you, it's a quarter cup of each of these, which is really easy. And then we will cut up the chicken into little chunks, little squares. And that's it, soy sauce, sherry, and sesame oil. That's it, quarter cup of each. So I'm gonna tilt you a little bit further down. See into the bowl. This is one of my favorite things. I need to make pan cooked chicken next week. It's another one of my favorite chicken dishes. This is Sherry. This, I think the Sherry is what really like helps the soy sauce and the sesame oil to like get into the wings. Mmm, I love the smell of sesame oil. So that's that. That goes back. I've got my clipboard. And this is the cookbook that it comes from. You're not going to find this cookbook anywhere today. Well, you might find it actually at like a thrift store. I'm saying you won't, you won't find a book called an Oriental Cookbook anymore. That's a racist. Okay, tilt you down a little more. Got our chicken, Northwest Farms Pacific, sustainably farmed, organic fed, free range chicken. These are about the happiest chickens you're gonna get. Mm -mm, it's cold. Usually I kind of start off at the top. I have to cut the fat off, but I did not do that first. Fine. And then, mm -hmm, I'm just about that size. All of them. Okay, I might speed it up a little bit here just because it's going to be a lot of the same motions over and over again. That was actually too big. Cut that one in half. You don't want them to be too big. I'd rather them be small than big. This one I'm going to cut big because I'm going to cut it in half. And then, oops, I will be right back. Okay, back to the chicken. The Spanish base. Sorry, my oven's on now because I need to heat up the pizza. Not heat it up, but I'm going to put pepperoni on it and I kind of like the pepperoni to get a little crispy. Don't go on my counter, please. Chicken on. Please, chicken on. I like these little tendon parts. Ah, QFC, they sell all tendons. I should have gone there and gotten them, but it's not as good as meat. Mm, that's a weird shaped one, so I guess I'll do two. Mmm, so some will just do weird shapes. I'd rather have a ton of little ones, because then they get all like super flavorful. I'll do some big ones and I'll make up for it. There you have it. I'll mix it up real quick. Darby, if you wait a second, I'll come help you. Just give me a second and I'll come help you. And then in the morning I might uh, stir it up a little bit. Make sure they're all getting equal marination. That's the end of this part. 
Hey everybody, so this is the day that I'm actually going to be making the paper chicken. We're going to put it together. So I'll show you that process because it's kind of different. And then I've got rice going for fried rice and that's got 16 minutes on it. So we'll see how long this takes. Usually it takes a minute. So let me tilt you down just a tad more. And then you can kind of see the surface we're working with. I just put this down so I don't have to clean the counter a bunch. I probably will still clean the counter, but not as vigorously if I if I had had chicken all over it. So I'm trying to look for a paper that's big enough because I kind of cut a lot of these small because I thought I had a lot of small pieces of chicken. Um, and this is a oddly shaped one, so that doesn't help either. Um, when you use wax paper, you have to kind of create a pocket to like stuff the outside in but since this is aluminum foil we can just go like that and that's a good enough little pocket so that's kind of why I did aluminum foil tonight and not paper uh, parchment paper just because I wanted the ease of doing it like this and not having to stuff the edges in each piece it's just just such a pain so again that's kind of a bigger one and it smells so good, and I'm so hungry, so I am so excited for this. Pepper chicken, fried rice. And I might speed this up just because it is going to be a lot of the same repetitive motions. And sometimes I'll get like a little blind going where I have a bunch of them put in the aluminum foil or paper ready for me to do that to them. Just so I can try to find some papers that will fit. And then, these are all, they're all so small. What, did I, what was I thinking? Honestly. Come on, go. And I forgot to uh, mix it around today, but it's fine. And I don't really pay attention to what side I put them on, the foil or the, or the, I mean the shiny or the mat, I don't really, never paid attention to that. I guess I usually do the shiny on the outside, but I think that's the wrong way, I think I'm supposed to put the shiny on the inside so that it cooks it while it's in there, but what do I know? I don't work for aluminum, aluminum foil company. Daddy, stop whining. I'm a broken bush. Ow, I was trying not to get it on his hand because of that cut. It's too big for this. Mm. Alright. <laughs> That's fun. If it fits, it ships. And these are all small too. What was I thinking? I cut a whole bunch of them because you never know, you know how many you need. does not want to stay in this foil. Let's try to find a bigger one. Alright, that's better. You want it to actually fold on the other side, so that's good. <coughs> yes, me. See, I thought I had done a ton of, like, little ones, but I'm not seeing them, or, like, I didn't. As in, I thought I cut a lot of little pieces of chicken. I'm not seeing any, like, smaller than that. Mm. I think that should go on that one, and this little piece should go maybe there. Just for now, at least I don't know if it'll fit in that. Hold on a minute, we'll see. and wash my hands and make a bunch more bigger ones because this is just not going for me. And I'm really hungry now, so it's making me hungry. Okay, give me just a second.
we need? We need some 50 cent. That's what I need up in this kitchen right now. 50 cent. Here we go, just a little bit. Yes! Bring them back! Bring them back to life! Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Okay, five minutes for the rice. Five minutes for it. I'm gonna turn it off. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. A little bit. And a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. See, now all these little pieces now I need them. Oh, man. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. You heard me. You heard me. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. And a little bit. And a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. And a little bit. And a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Can't really break that apart so that I can put it in this tiny bullshit piece of aluminum foil. version and then a regular version. Hey, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I got chicken in hand. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. That's all I needed, baby. I need some gangster rap. But this is not really gangster rap. This is 50 cent. <laughs> I'm like looking like I'm humping my camera. I'm just like, okay, don't judge me. Go shout it. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna sip a party like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give a fuck because it's your birthday. Find me in a club. Bottle full of bub. I'm gonna what you need if you're feeling out of love. Get yeah, six ain't in to make it love. So come give me a hug if you're into getting rough. Bottle full of bub. I'm gonna what you need if you're feeling out of love. Get yeah, six ain't in to make it love. So come give me a hug if you're into getting rough. I'm sorry, 50 cent. Okay, we need some Nelly hot in here. It's hot in. So hot in her. I wonder what the fuck happened to Nelly. You fell off your game, Nelly. So hot in her. So hot in. Okay, timer.
Nelly. Okay, so you fell off the fucking... Fell off it. Fell off it. It's just gonna fail at work at... I'm speeding up anyways! Hey, fuck not. Get down with my bad self. Uh-uh. Oop, oop. That's too... That's too high now. Alright, let's 
listen to that in the 90s music. Totally got mad at my little bitchy funk I was getting into. You get there's that, and then we'll do some green onions. And then see if the oil's hot enough. Don't go in one knife. I'm just gonna take three of these. Oh, I'm gonna go rinse them. So now we're gonna chop up some green onions. Fascinating! My health is all over my kitchen. So I'm trying to just cut them slowly and surely. done probably about three quarters of this chicken so far. I probably only have one or two more batches left and then we're done. Um, I'm finishing the fried rice. I'm getting an egg going. Okay, timer. I hear you. Get that 
rid of this. Okay, so there's a little stumbling. Gonna check the temperature of this little dump or dumpling, whatever it is. And they are cooked. So I'll take them out. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven just to stay warm. Uh, actually, I'll put them in a bowl. Cover them with that plate so that they don't get dried out. And then we got a minute and a half left on that. back a little bit. I need to stop. Just a little bit. Mmm. That's good. Might need just a little bit of soy sauce as well. More for the flavor of soy sauce than for the salt. That just added a little bit of salt. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this cooking with positive smash and my shitty ass attitude I apologize for sometimes you just have one of those days that nothing's going right for you anyways I will see you guys in my mukbang bye